I get asked quite often because I blog a lot what an easy program to use for anyone regardless of their level of experience would be for blogging and my suggestion has always been Microsoft Windows Live Writer so this introduction is going to be how to go get Live Writer and how to use it and set up your first blog post very simple as with everything nowadays we can start with Google let's go to a Google home page or wh whatever page you have and let's just Google search for Windows Live Writer and of course the very first thing you see is right here let's go to the website you'll notice it's Windows Live Writer dot spaces dot live dot com it's the official site for Live Writer you can get to it in Internet Explorer Firefox Chrome depending on your browser um, I'm installing it on Microsoft Windows 7 but this will work for Windows XP as well as Windows Vista now we're on the Live Writer home page you can click here it's available for download let's download the current version click the button this will open us up in our case a new window okay choose the language of course we want English let's hit download I have a screen here that popped up on the other side so I drug it back over do you want to save this application or do you want to run it let's save it I want to save it on my desktop wlsetup.exe save and that's now done look at my desktop there's the new program we downloaded let's walk through the install let's launch it I want to run welcome to Windows Live this is the installer an important thing to remember about Microsoft Live is that it's become a lot like Yahoo Messenger and many of the other programs nowadays. It's going to be full of stuff you don't want. Um, maybe you do want all the features Microsoft has to offer. Me personally, I don't. I only want to be able to block. I don't want the Messenger. I already have my own ga uh, gallery software. Um, I don't need any of these. I want LiveWriter. So I've unchecked everything except LiveWriter. Let's hit install. I happen to have a program open. It's it's a a asking me to close it. I'll tell it to close the program for me. It, so it closed my browser. This process should only take a few moments. the progress is climbing again it's still downloading some software that we don't want which Windows is known for a little over halfway complete I'm on a high speed connection here, about a 10 meg connection, so it may take you a few seconds longer, a few minutes shorter, it just depends. I'm expecting this whole process to take about three minutes. Again, Microsoft is trying to get us to do things with that we really don't want to do. I do not want to set my search provider as Bing. I prefer to use Google. I do not want to set MSN as my home page because, again, I prefer to use Google. But y if you choose to set these, that's fine. It's just your preference. Press continue. What you see now that comes over is, do you have a Windows Live I ID? And this is so you can use Live Writer on the Windows blogs. Um, you can choose to sign up for one if you already have one it's going to be something like your name at, at hotmail.com 
um, I'm going to hit close. Uh, it opened up a new browser again, which I don't really need. Let's see if the program installed. And there's LiveWriter. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. My next tutorial will be how to use LiveWriter and set up your first blog.